kind of patience that he had, he had to be in the jail for years together and finally when he comes out, he was had to be announced as the president of that uh, independent uh, South Africa and that patience is required for every one of us. Most of us do not have patience. Within no time, we become nervous. We start expressing stress. <coughs> you should have patience. Do not judge the book based on the wrapper. But yes, when we talk about the confidence, create a wrapper so interesting that people look at the wrapper, they should get a feeling of that personality that this man is going to win this match. So let us not use all the other direction. And your faith and patience should be so high that we always use this beautiful line. There is where there is a will, there is a way. Always we make this statement, but I would like to put it reverse. There is always a way. Do you have the will and patience? In God's book, delay is there. Denial is not there. But are you ready to wait for that denial? No. You start giving up. Your confidence will start coming down. Last time I used an example of academic performance. When your confidence keeps coming down, you start bringing the goal down. You did not have patience to wait and see to wait that I will reach that goal only. Abraham Lincoln failed not one or two elections. He failed around 20 plus elections. And finally, ultimately, he became the president. KFC. He did not actually become successful at the age of 18, 19, 20, 20, 40. No. After 55 years, when his recipe was shared with many hotels, none of them were ready to accept it because they did not found that it is interesting. But slowly, day by day, day by day, day by day, when he consistently went on doing with a lot of patience, people had to follow him. Today we see his hotels all around the world. When he told Ahimsa will be the only weapon by which we are going to fight these Britishers, he kept on patiently working, communicating, expressing his interpersonal skills to talk to as many people, to influence as many people. He followed himself to be in the right path because he knew people who are seeing him is going to follow him more than anybody else. And slowly after much patience, after decades, two, three decades, he saw to it that India got the freedom and we got the freedom that patient is required. Empathy is very, very important. You should feel empathized towards people who fail. You should feel empathized pe about people who are little, actually inferior to you. But at the same time, never have superiority complex against them. If somebody is angry, can you express empathy because he is angry because the situation has gone out of control? You should understand. When will you get angry? You get angry when the situation has gone out of control and you know you cannot do anything. Marks has come and the result says you have scored less marks. You are in an helpless state. You become angry. You start shouting at your mom, shouting at your dad, shouting at your teachers. And all three of them should understand it's okay for him to be angry. Empathize. It's okay. Allow them to save their face. This is one of the greatest interpersonal skills. You should have this ability. And people always recollect, I still like my boss because when on that day when I failed miserably by losing around 2 crore of business to my company, everybody in the office told, I'll be fired. One of the greatest employee of uh, the Tata Ta Consultancy Services, TCS, uh, tells this. But there was this man, Ratan Tata. He came up to me and he told, it's okay to fail. And with full empathy on you. I know you can bounce back. When you show empathy, <coughs> people will definitely bounce back. Multiple failures will always be there. When they fail, you should show empathy. And sometimes you should show empathy towards yourself. What is your interpersonal skills? You punish yourself. Forget about outside world denting you. You dent yourself. I don't want to leave. Let me commit suicide. Idiot. That decision is actually stupidest. Go. Get ready. Chase the Britishers out of India. Chase the Britishers out of the world. That kind of hypnotizing and self-communication has to be given. That really happened on Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. There was no Jambu Anta who came and told Gandhiji you can do. He had to tell himself. No. The only thing I am going to do is not only chase the Britishers out of this South Africa, also out of India. Yes, you should also learn to empathize. Again, I'm telling you, all the interpersonal skills is required for you also. Who is going to motivate you? You should only motivate. You cannot go to everywhere to certain places and 
get motivated sometimes when nobody is there self motivation has to be done so you will have to act as your own motivator with using all those interpersonal skills if i can motivate all of you i can also self motivate myself if i can kill all of you i can also self kill myself if i can hurt all of you i can also hurt all of you if i if i can make all of you laugh i can also make myself laugh learn the skills of getting it done for yourself first and then on to the outside world pehle kaao baad mein sabko kilao they have never told pehle neighbors ko kilao and then you kaao no so self is always very very important in all this active listening skills are you listening to your body why the body which used to climb one floor and it used to remain comfortable today it is not comfortable are you listening the air which used to be so thick today it is not thick are you listening below the eyes where you had that very glowing skin today there are dark circles are you listening today when i am walking five steps my breath becomes breathlessness and i get into a different mode altogether or you listening or you observing or you patiently also looking inwards and telling what is wrong in you most of us miserably fail near only we go to the hospital when it is the ultimate end of it and the doctor says what an idiot you are you are already in third stage of cancer sir i thought a little pain in abdomen how can i expect it to be a cancer when you don't know it is a cancer when people are warning you anything a pain is a warning it's an indication are you not listening that is also equally important most of us why are we having that cardiac arrest why because we are not listening to our body if you properly listen to the body to the doctor the doctors will advise gym is bad not giving enough sleep is bad take the advice and start working towards it empathy should be there conflict resolution should be there conflict management should be one of the interpersonal skills that is required even to manage a family all of you are already married i and you know how difficult it is to manage between a wife and a mother long lasting always loving that mother and a wife when these are packaged between two and you are the sandwich which between these two you know how difficult it is to manage yes conflict management is very very important you should not become a kerosene to already available differences you should always become a water to the available differences so can you have that conflict resolution can you do this conflict management can you resolve conflicts among people if you can do it that means you are a leader if you cannot do it that means you will have to work on this interpersonal skills again i am telling you all the skills are not required few of the skills you have excellently beautiful that is more than enough to see you being very very successful all successful people they also have multiple failures they cannot do one thing like even an ordinary boy don't ever think like that you need not be good in all of this but most of it if you can and all of it if you can work and improve better main kabhi coffee nahi banaya bana lo kya jata hai practice it learn it is a beautiful experience to your mind and body it's a self image boosting experience my be coffee ban bana sakta hu my be khana paka sakta hu i can also wash my clothes i can also use a washing machine beautiful so conflict management mediation skills when there is a conflict between two people when there are two issues which is burning and what decision to be taken acting as a mediator it is a beautiful skill set can you become that honest judge when two people have a conflict when two people have difference of opinion that mediation skills is also important you should talk on the favor of him i should talk on the favor of him and then put up some points and finally allow them only to decide who is right and who is wrong that mediation skills is also required and next decision making skills decision making skills are also quick decision making skills i take time to make decisions it's not going to work you will have to make quick decisions again i am telling actually decision delayed is actually more burdenous than decision denied because delaying 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 is as equal to denying only so please don't do that problem identification most of the time even when we are handling human resource or non human resource you should be skilled enough to understand where the problem exists where the problem understands 
any project that is taking soft landing was a problem identify the problem start working on it that is leadership skills there were lot of things which were successful only that last part that soft landing was not a success so work on that problem solving skills identify the problem you should be like a detective try to identify the weaknesses and start working on your weaknesses when i told about interpersonal skills also same thing i know my weaknesses is public speaking let me work on it my weaknesses is interpersonal skills in that especially my weaknesses is problem solving skills wherever i see problems i run away from it don't run away try to face the problem solution will be there inside the problem only only thing is you should go and spend some time i told you that fear management when you spend some time you will start seeing solution when you don't spend time you will not find solution you will run away from problem yes problem solving group processes you should when i say team building and when i say group processes you should know how to work in a group and get things sorted if i have a team member every team member should be given responsibilities and everybody's responsibility is their own responsibility it should not become everybody's responsibility is everything it should not be like that this person is responsible for this thing and he alone is responsible for that thing this person is responsible for this thing and he is alone responsible for that thing that way getting the work distributed and collecting the work and getting the work done is important after your work is done also seeing your subordinates or your colleagues also complete the work that is called as group processes as a leader can i motivate aapka kaam ho gaya abhi bhi balance hai mama mai aata hu i'll help you out when i volunteer to help he has also completed the work what will he say <coughs> sir i will also join you so that group processes has to be done empathy he could not complete sir could not complete can i show empathy can i join all of us join and then help that is called as group processes trying to be empathize and helping in the entire group the process to be completed because the entire team is equal to the weakest link the strength of your team is that weak link if all of you want to achieve something in group processes you will have to help that weak link to become strength so your weaknesses should be transformed into strength by giving him proper training by identifying that weakness by identifying that problem you can work everybody is excited there is one person in our team because of which everything is getting delayed then either pick him throw him out pick up one more person give him another place where he feels comfortable don't make him look like he is a ordinary nay he is too ordinary in this team give him a different work everybody has their own skill set instead don't compromise that is not called as a leadership skills that is not called as interpersonal skills you will have to identify the problem and give solution there this is the weakest link if you don't mind it's okay you will be dropped out of this team we will take you again after your <coughs> finally train you keep practicing put him onto the bench let him keep practicing and then when he is completely ready give him a small test analyze him and after assessing him only put him onto the team for all the this comes under group processes identifying then negotiation skills you should be able to negotiate marketing skills negotiation skills and getting work in a better place this time you guys have done excellent work the quality stands to be 95 what do you think can you or can we touch 99 you let me give the challenge throw the challenge onto the audience and you will see that negotiation skills i can work for the new project all of us can go to abroad for for a new project if you are going to give 96 the entire team will be promoted to us base don't you think you want that negotiate and keep up the promise you cannot without nuts nobody wants to work for nuts everybody wants to work for badams simple promise them badam and give them badam negotiation skills persuasion skills can you actually persuasion is nothing but building confidence can you persuade them to do a particular task and tell them they can do it anuman you can fly this is too simple for you and chandrayaan 3 will definitely be successful go ahead nothing shall be cancelled and more would be given that is called as persuasion skills and emotional intelligence you should know have that emotional intelligence in understanding who is good who is bad most of the time when emotions come between your decision making you will feel miserable that's the reason we say men always think through mind women always think through heart so when that connection has to be interchanged you should know 
because when you are emotionally high in peak of happiness when you are emotionally low in peak of sorrow or peak of anger or peak of any negative emotion hatred peak of jealousy your intelligence does not work you do only those angered things which will lead to one word additional one letter d dangerous things a n g e r will go to d a n g e r most of the troubles that has happened in your life is because of that one second anger you went and you hit the car one second anger you were shouting at somebody you lost control emotionally hit somebody in that one second anger you actually told <coughs> those words which you cannot forgive yourself till your life ends even after the life ends why because of that one minute emotional control was not there and remember this if you are emotionally high if you are feeling anger against a person don't take any decisions and avoid yourself from talking to him also because in that emotions when your intelligence is not going to work you do all kinds of blunders instead of that allow it to settle down and then go most of us in the peak of love and emotions you will say aap mujhe tare puchho main aapko tare la kar deta hu in that i emotions you say now she will ask one ring also you need money to buy one ring yes tomorrow she will say i need bangle if you need money na so emotionally don't promise everything pehle aap bolte the ab tare lekar aayenge aajkal aap bangle bhi nahi lekar aate not going to be possible in peak of emotions don't commit anything bring down your emotions to normal and then do you are anger because somebody has gossiped about you about somebody else a good interpersonal skill is i will self evaluate myself and i will say am i taking this decision out of anger am i taking this decision out of art art means anger emotions are expressed so if it is anger because of the emotions am i being reactive then don't take decisions because in that you will only do blunders these are few of those emotional skills that you will have to remember other than that when i say interpersonal skills verbal communication i have already spoken non verbal negotiation persuasion influencing critical thinking problem solving decision making assertiveness team work all these skill sets will be checked and all these skill sets training are being given nowadays to every individual who goes for companies to work just like we are providing you this it is not that you did not know all this you knew all this but it wouldn't have come when it was required so when collectively when people are called and such classes are taken it directly or indirectly motivates you and puts in so much of energy so that all your problems right now will start looking very smaller to you and slowly you will only start getting clarity and solutions will be given see in the entire 18 chapters of bhagavad gita interpersonal skills only was trained but in no places Krishna told, "Arey Arjuna, yudh karo." He did not say. He kept on explaining, kept on explaining. Ultimately, you should only go up and then fight the war. Whatever we are doing, are only equipping you so that you get that inner desire that I should lift and I should fight. That is my dharma. Karm karte raho. Iska chinta mat karo. So that is a very simple. So. critical thinking problem solving decision making assertiveness and team work all these are excellent skills that you will have to develop when we say interpersonal skills who all needs to be trained in interpersonal skills people who are business people people who are looking for career people who are working as a as a team and leadership skills if you need to inspire others communicate with others sales person if you are looking at huge profits you need to have excellent interpersonal skills if your business has to grow you need to have excellent interpersonal skills yes few of them have excellent friendship excellent relationship why because their interpersonal skills is good you should know when to communicate what to communicate and when what not to communicate and what directly should not be communicated all these are good being straight forward will not work you go to a newly wedded uh, place and uh, they have got it to a new place and then you go early in the morning uh, the, the lady is happy because somebody has come somebody can actually taste her breakfast and say whether it is good or bad now you go there she offers you something tell her something ma'am i really wanted to have aunt but today my stomach is upset i will not be able to eat i can only try one spoon because i just want to don't want to say no can you just give me one spoon maybe if she gives two spoon you can eat and you can come back don't try to be expressive there 
and it is so nice then she will bring one more patak she will be putting in that concrete what we call upito on your dish so you should know when you will have to communicate when not to communicate even interpersonal skills is required for mental well being because sometimes what happens too much of pressure when it hinders us you know that your mind and body cannot take so what happens slowly your body starts getting developing the <coughs> developing sugar because of high stress because of uh, mismanagement of your work everything every hazardous thing will happen if you don't have right kind of interpersonal skills in managing whatever the big responsibilities you have taken so you will have to learn interpersonal skills to manage people because relationship break there will be person whom you had trusted almost for a decade and all of a sudden one day he comes and says i want to start my own company please uh, relieve me from work and on behalf of his strength you would have invested a huge amount and you had taken a new project your, your life is going to definitely throw tantrum yes you need ex excellent interpersonal skills to understand that and to come out of this so all these skill sets would be important uh when we talk about communication we always speak on this maintaining eye contact whenever i am talking to you i always am looking into the eyes so that the moment my eyes is not looking at you you get distracted you feel sleepy you feel like the dozing off so it is very important and when you are listening also can you look into the eyes of the speaker then automatically your mind is tuned to the frequency of the speaker most of us do not know how to align it the moment i leave my focus to something else my mind consistently keeps getting input from my five sensory organs there is an higher tendency that you will lose out on the talk and you will think that you are actually listening and you are looking but your mind is thinking something else so most of the things are <coughs> forgotten so aligning yourself to this is very very important for that maintaining eye contact is very very important as i told you active listening and giving time for every skill sets is important that skill set which you have not practiced for years together or which you have not used it for years together it goes into the back bench and you will not be good at that i used to regularly drive sorry ride a cycle but all of a sudden for 10 15 years if you stop riding a cycle it is not going to be as comfortable as just getting onto the cycle and going for a run your skill set also is like that it needs to be polished it needs to be upgraded it needs to be fine tuned today in this session we are only working on that i am not telling something which you did not know i am telling something which you always knew but still you did not follow every person who opens a cigar knows that that a bad type of cancer is going to come and it is displayed in the photo if anybody stares at that photo for 10 minutes he will not feel like having a cigar for years together what he will do he will close that i have seen some of them they wrap a paper because they can't see, see that photo that is there in the cigar and then he again takes it and he starts smoking so it is very very important that i am not telling you something which you did not know i am telling something which you always know you will have to keep working on it you will have to keep upgrading it swot analysis yesterday i was a good batsman today i am not what can i become today i can become a best coach that is your intra personal skills at the age of 40 tendulkar had could run from morning till evening now tendulkar cannot so what role can tendulkar play he can become a coach मैं सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक पहले भी कर चुका हूं ये सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक आप जो अभी देख रहे हो मोस्ट ऑफ द ग्रेट लेट मी कॉल देम एज कैप्टन ऑफ आर्मी नेवी आई हैव सीन देयर वीडियोस व्हेन दे स्पोक ए सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक इज वेल अप्रिशिएबल इवेंट बट मेनी सच सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक्स हैव हैपेंड बट इट डज नॉट कम टू लाइन लाइक जस्ट लाइक इट केम नाउ आई वाज सो स्ट्रांग बट टुडे आई नो माय इंट्रा पर्सनल स्किल्स यू शुड नो योर इंट्रा पर्सनल स्किल्स पहले मैं भाग सकता था 10 किलोमीटर अभी 55 हो गया है तो नो योर इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स योर एज इज नॉट गोइंग टू बेनिफिट दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ 10 किलोमीटर स्किप 5 किलोमीटर इट इज गुड टू यू दैट स्केलिंग एंड ब्रिंगिंग डाउन द स्केल एंड आइडेंटिफाइंग योर इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स इज अगेन योर इंटेलिजेंस स्मार्टनेस मैं पहले भी करता था अभी भी करता हूं नहीं पॉसिबल है पहले सवेरे जल्दी उठता था एज एज पासस यू लाइक टू स्लीप अ लिटिल लॉन्गर when you are child you sleep for longer during your adult too you minimize it again when you come to your what you call end days old 
then you will have to sleep for long hours. So understand your interpersonal skills and then do. Pehle do do bucket to take cha ta ta. Pehle cha ki goli bhi maar ta ta. I was a major. Right now they can't use them. What shall the major do? He becomes a coach. He starts training many such people who can become better than him. Now Rahul Dravid is an excellent coach. The World Cup team which is being coached is our Rahul Dravid only who is doing it. Excellent. So like that, you will have to understand and you will have to start working on it. Non-verbal rules, empathy, leverage recording technology. What does that mean? Is when I need to fine tune myself, I cannot ask others to give their opinion. It is always beautiful. What do you feel about my communication skills? Ask people to give their opinion. Be ready to accept even negative comments also. You cannot be allergic to negative <coughs> comments. Make a note of it. Keep working on it. And yesterday, how did I present the topic to the audience? Good. I have done a project. What do you feel about this project? Ask them. So, do, do you think I look healthy now? Like that, you can collect feedbacks from your place. But when it comes to your talk, you can always record <coughs> it and then know whether you are doing good or bad. Today, there is a recording facility. I am also recording. I go and check and I see where did I go wrong, what examples I gave right, what examples I did not give right, can I do better than this, can I keep multiple such humors every now and then so that I take the audience into action back because they get into semi-sleep and sleep mode, can I bring them back to alertness, like that I should also do research. Use the latest recording facility because today a mobile is available with everybody, record, read, listen, understand and try to make yourself better. SWOT analysis, okay. Verbal skills, negotiation skills and the only way you can improve all this is practice. You should invest time. When you give time, when you practice multiple times, it results with a phenomenon. You don't want to give time, you don't want to practice. None of this will become sharper and sharper and sharper. You need. First time when actually Amitabh Bachchan went onto the stage, he could not even remember those words. Every time he was in front of camera, he used to forget. They had to give him the whatever the write up, the script, one month in advance for them to memorize. That is how the old acting skills were. And today, as he walks, you give him the script, he just reads and it gets into his memory. And he acts so naturally because that has come by practice, it has come by giving time. And it has come by practice, giving time. Practice, time, practice, time, practice, time. That becomes your skill set and that becomes the niche of your skill set ten dulkar practice give time practice give time batting 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 god of cricket lata mangeshka practice give time practice guide up singing 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 she becomes lata mangeshka so you also on all the skill sets what you want you will have to do a culmination of all this is when i say interpersonal skills it is a collection of all these skills it's a mother of all these skills they sub log unke beta or beti hai. Baap is interpersonal skills. A culmination of stress management skills, communication of emotion, handling emotional <coughs> skills, sorry, also learning self-awareness skills, empathy, creativity skills, critical thinking skills, communication skills, problem solving skills, decision making skills, stress. <coughs> I've told you about stress in last class also. Exactly what is stress? Stress is nothing but the gap between when it should have been done and ultimately when you did it. What is critical thinking? A few lines. As you saw, Bombay, it was becoming overly populated, overly populated. Bombay could not take enough houses. When Bombay could not take enough houses, there was a point where they had to think out of the box. It was a complete critical thinking. What was the thinking? We cannot expand like this. They did expansion also. They went on to put more and more uh, uh, ocean was occupied, but that was not safe. And slowly they realized if there is no space this way, there is space this way. Critical thinking. And today it became flats. Otherwise flats was not a part of our system. Any kind of old houses, what you see, any kind of palaces you see, it was not multi-story buildings. But that was a necessity because of the problem that we encountered. Critical thinking. Forget about this. In China, when it is so thickly populated, when they started looking like this, there was no space. Because flats were already built. They started looking down. There was more space. 
there are some of the flats which are called as underground flats underground what you call it as uh, malls in south africa sorry in uh, uh, china also in india which has 10 15 20 30 floors deep inside now there are no place to actually have roads it has already been uh, too, too much uh, congested people were thinking what to do what to do what is critical thinking one of them began told if one bus can go like this why not one more bus critical thinking led to some invention it is difficult to move the goods from one place to another actually taking it can we take it with animals yes the first critical thinking they started using animals to transport goods how long can we use animals can we use something else better than this bullock cart scape Earlier, they never had round wheels, they had square wheels, if you see. One of them gave a critical thinking, instead of square, why don't we go for round wheels? It was a solution. So everywhere, things became better. If birds can fly, why not humans? Maybe humans cannot fly because humans don't have wings. Why don't we create a bird which can fly and can we get onto the bird? It was a critical thinking, aeroplane was invented. There is no space here, we cannot have a transporting system there. Can I build an inside tunnel where a transport system can happen? Critical thinking. And the same critical thinking is the result of artificial intelligence today. I don't know how many of you know, the real definition of a computer is, computer is an idiot box who doesn't know how to think. Computer is emotional and emotionless, he cannot think, he simply does whatever it is being told to do. But today, what is the field that is growing? They are saying, computers is not a dumb machine. They can learn things. So, machine learning is a big industry today. It is a vertical that a lot of research is going on. Next, machines we say, computer is an idiot box. They also call it as gigo machines. Garbage in, garbage out machine. But today, how people say, it is not garbage in, garbage out. It has artificial intelligence. Without that artificial intelligence, without that machine learning capabilities, all of us wouldn't have survived this COVID. All of you should know, within six months, the vaccination came. Even the trial was completed within six months. How much of calculation is required in order to get that accuracy? For everything to be successful, insert one, insert two, Chandrayaan one, Chandrayaan two, mission moon, everything the world is doing today, it is only because of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So a lot of things have been automated and today the entire definition of computers is only because of critical thinking. <coughs> one person thought, why should we only call and talk to people? Why can't we see and talk to people? Yes, the system came. Why should we go to movies, theatres to watch a movie? Cannot not the movie come to our house? TV. Why only one channel? Can we not have multiple channels just like we go to whatever theatre we want? In the screen also can we go to whatever movie, whatever theatre? Yes, multiple channels came up. Can it be mobile? Can it be movable? Mobile means a person who is moving. Yes, a movable device came up. So that is critical thinking. So do not bring down your critical thinking capabilities. Today what is thought is going to be tomorrow's invention. Critical thinking has to be appreciated. They say you cannot grow business logarithmically. Today many startups have only grown logarithmically. <coughs> because linear growth we have seen. People did not believe in logarithmic growth. Today in the internet world the startups are growing logarithmically. They do a pilot invention. People come and invest crores and crores of rupees together and a company which was just a 10 crore turnover company, today they are calling it as a 1000 turnover company. It was not easy for Dhirubhai Ambani then to make a 10,000 turnover company to 10,000 crore turnover company because it was not an internet zamana where I announce it online and people will flood in. No, I have a knowledge, I have a vision, I have a inspiring story i have an inspiring concept i just simply throw it out and people would come that was not the time but today it is the time every small person who has that critical thinking capabilities is becoming a business tycoon can you read between those lines i want to do a business there is a sales there is a customer i will become a mediator that is flipkart he's just an agent he's just a delivery call but who is making money? Manufacturer? No. Customer? No. This person who is delivering, he is making money. 
Zomato is making money than the hotels. Oyo is making money than the hotels. Amazon is making money than the hotel. Why? Because of this critical thinking. You also, if you want to bring out certain change in your company, you should bring out that critical thinking in your mind. And when you can bring out that critical thinking, enough wonders can happen. So these are uh, so some of the things. If you want to develop these uh, interpersonal skills, you will have to encourage interacting with others because while you get into a discussion, you learn a lot of things. Never avoid getting into discussions. Today on an internet forum, there are a lot of webinars conducted about your own skill sets. You don't please be a frog in a pond. I will also not because I can also not assume these are the only points I need to say. I also go in the internet world. I also explore. I also meet a lot of people. By engaging people in communication, I talk to you, your knowledge, my knowledge, it doubles. I go and spend some money with you, your money is also gone, my money is also gone. So knowledge sharing is the best, that should be your attitude. What is my hobby? My hobby is to learn new things and read books or learn new things from internet. That should be your hobby. And definitely develop your listening skills, teach conversation skills, I'm telling effective conversation skills. Uh, maintain a tone, tempo and volume while you're talking to people, it is very important. Monotonous talk will not work. Hand should move, neck should move, your entire gesture should be addressing to the audience. Encourage questions uh, and compliment them if anybody has given a uh, beautiful answer. And be a role model. You will have to play all these role models. So, uh, how are we going to teach this uh, interpersonal skills? Nothing, just like I gave you a class. Learn and interpret non-verbal skills. There are some skill sets which you can develop how to identify non-verbal skills. Listening, give time, show interest, empathizing, uh, being compassionate and summarizing. Whenever you get an opportunity to address anybody, please follow these all steps. I am sitting in a meeting, I am sitting in a group discussion, I met a person, yes, learn and interpret his verbal communication. I had a business meeting, I will understand whether he was serious enough in telling what he wanted to do. Yes, listen, give time, be a good listener, show interest. Empathize on all his skill sets. Be compassionate about him. Then finally summarize and then make a call. I think I'll give the business to you. Like that. This is how it has to be done. It is all under interpersonal skills. So to conclude, people with great interpersonal skills are generally more successful both professionally and personally than those without. It is very important if you want to be successful in whatever field you are, as a businessman, as a family man, as a social being, you need to have excellent interpersonal skills. This is one of the best and the must skill set that you will have to have. Regardless of what type of career or ability to work you have, uh, your, you will have to have, if you want to work well with your colleagues and employees, you make a good impression and result in positive career growth. For that, you will have to develop interpersonal skills. This I will not be sharing, I will take only 5 minutes, I will share these slides with you so that you understand how important is these skill sets which is all about interpersonal skills which was given by Dale Carnegie, one of the excellent personality development trainer we will wind up at 4, 4, 4 time so I am talking about Dale Carnegie, one of an excellent personality development trainer who has given some of the basic principles of how you can have interpersonal relationship. Interpersonal skills is to build that relation, build that trust with each other, build that uh, confidence in each other. So that we are going to tell. The first one is become a friendlier person. If you are not going to be a friendlier person, people will not approach you. When you are not approachable, you cannot make friends. Nobody would like to become friendly with you. Always become a friendlier person. Every leader, that is the reason they say what they speak about me. They say you are not approachable. But you ask every politician what is the comment they want. They want a comment that I am down to the earth leader. Why they say I am down to the earth leader? Because they want to be identified as though he is down to the earth. He is a simple man. So become a friendlier person is very important. Next, win people to your way of thinking. That has to come by communication skills only. You cannot force the decision onto them. Assuming I have a product to be developed. For that product, I know it is going to take one month. But in case I throw a challenge to the uh, team, guys, 
I don't know whether I should accept this challenge or not because I feel without all of you, this challenge is going to be undoable. This is a challenge. All of you know we can do so many lines of course in one month. They are asking one third more than that should be completed because the project which we were supposed to deliver 45 days from now should be delivered in 30 days. Can you think we can do it? If you throw the challenge, when they accept it as a challenge, they will work with conviction. If you throw the challenge, you should monitor them every now and then because it is not something initiated. So, win people to your way of thinking by throwing challenges onto them. Be a leader, create an attitude of peace and happiness. These are one of the points. In the same manner, become a friendlier person that I already shared with you. Uh, the more friendlier you are, people become approachable. It is going to definitely help you. So, we become genuinely interested. See, when we talk about become a friendlier person, most of the time what happens, when you start criticizing, condemning, complaining about people, they will never would like to become friendly with you. And no, they will not become friendly. Do not criticize, do not condemn, do not complain. Always start with a friendlier manner. Always start with an advice. Okay, no, always start with an appreciation because people crave for appreciation. When you like to tell about a problem, first speak about the positiveness three and tell one negative. Hey, regarding the project, I like the kind of coding what you did. Your was the coding which had minimum number of lines. Excellent, yeah, for that. And one more thing, all the coding, none of the functions were repeated. I really like that. But one uh, concern I have, I don't say it as a problem, concern, but the delivery date was delayed by one day. Can you see that next time with the first thing right, I know, with minimum number of codes which you do excellently, with no repetition of functions, that is also excellent. And can you deliver it on time? That way when you friendlier manner, when you start, <coughs> people will work for you, otherwise no. If you criticize, what is this, you are not able to do that, it is not going to work. A complaint free world challenge has to be taken. And pay attention when being introduced. When somebody introduces, pay attention, listen to his name. Can you repeat his name multiple times? Because for everybody, his name is the most important sound. For me, when I call your name, you feel so heartwarmingly welcome. But if I just say, sir, please come and sit, it doesn't make a, a great difference. So, repeat the name immediately and then use the name several times in the conversation. It can make a big difference to your interpersonal relationship. Okay, repeat it to yourself several times. If you have a book, make a note of it so that you don't forget the name. It's very important. Next time when you meet, you should remember his name. Look at such an incident where your friend comes and he says, Hey Malik, how are you? And I am thinking he is my classmate. He used to sit next to me. I don't remember his name. He is my classmate. He sits next to me. Such an embarrassing situation. Instead, if you can remember his name, it brings you very close to his heart. Create a mind picture so that you compare his name to somebody. If somebody is tall and you met somebody, you say, Amita Bachchan Rajesh, Amita Bachchan Rajesh, Khan, Amita Bachchan Rajesh. What is his name? Oh, Rajesh Ji. Namaste. Because I interconnected. Lampo, Amita Bachchan Rajesh. Your mind remembers pictures faster than the audio. So try to do that. So there, there are a lot of such words. If you are wrong, admit it quickly and empathetically. Most of the time we don't. When I have done a mistake, immediately I should empathize. I will pick up one or two points and I will say because the uh, rest you can always say. Get them saying yes, yes immediately. See, most of the time we call it as an yes, yes theory. I know you are a gentleman. You regularly go to temple. Yes or no? Yes sir, I go to temple. <coughs> I know you are a very family man. I know you take care of your family, yes or no? Yes. Yes sir, I will definitely take care of my family. As you take care of family, I know you do social work also. I have seen last time you were in the blood donation camp and uh, you were also there in Swachh Bharat. Yes or no? Yes, na? yes, 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 sir. Such a yes, yes person, did you think you will say no for one day extra working if I ask you to come tomorrow? No sir, I will not say no, I will definitely come sir. Yes sir, yes sir. So that is called as yes, yes immediately. Most of the marketing people use this. The only way to get the best of an argument is avoid it. That is a beautiful statement. People are telling it, but we don't follow it. We simply get into an argument. You will lose your close friend also. And you know arguments cannot be any kind of discussion. If it remains a discussion, we can actually agree to one person's opinion. That can happen. But when you get into an argument, both of them will not win. 
and that will not help you if you win over an argument also you will win the argument but you will lose the person for lifetime most of them don't realize they realize it after they lose it is not going to work okay uh, never say you are wrong show respect for the other persons most of the time when we sit for discussion we have this attitude hey mama malik you sit here whatever you tell is wrong no 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 don't do that that person will hate you from a bottom of his heart so see to it that you never say a person is wrong okay and also say give everybody a chance to actually express themselves that is called as team building skills like that there are a lot of interesting things begin with a praise and honest appreciation always do that hey you are know, looking good today you your dress is it a new shirt you are looking too nice today enough it will keep him happy you don't look for appreciation at all that should not happen begin with praise and it should be honest appreciation na you 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 can't look at somebody who is very fat and say i think you are not so fat no don't use that you some other words you, you look very lovely today so nice you look very slim today ah huh? no flattening don't do talk about your own mistake before criticizing others this is the best way of making him feel i know on that day even i failed in this ratan tata told the same thing to that employee that yes i still remember when today what position you were i was in the same position 10 years back i was shattered i thought it's not going to work but i did not give up i bounced back and today wherever i am because i had the capability of bouncing back and my senior my client gave me another opportunity now i as your senior as a boss i would like to give you another opportunity that way you should always talk about your mistake before criticizing and then tell the mistake was a mistake let us agree and i know you can bounce back like that give the other person a fine reputation to live up to don't go on criticizing criticizing he knows he has done a fault if he has cut a sorry allow him you keep on taking that sorry multiple times most of the ma'am staff is capabilities on the day you told this today i am not telling na ma but still on the day you told this so do, don't keep on allow that person he has done a mistake allow him to save his face don't go on criticizing every time b- b- before you could talk to that person remember ha huh? that day you lost two crore order and every time remember two crore order no it doesn't work you are not encouraging you are discouraging so like that there are a lot of points count your blessings not your this one of a fundamental technique of handling people simple don't criticize don't condemn not complain give honest and sincere appreciation arose in the other person a eager want i told you we should complete this project in one month can any of you help you all of you will sir we can sir guys what do you feel they ask everybody because it should not be my opinion everybody will say yes sir we can can we raise the hand all of them who feel you can everybody will raise and nobody wants to be the person not raised now it becomes you are great so a rose in the other person an eager want so when i say there is a project in us all of you want to go there or not <coughs> i have also never gone to us so that negotiation skills should be there apun jeet ke aayega dhoni's negotiation skills sir captain banayega to zarur jeet ke aaunga yes that negotiation skills become genuinely interested in other people see this is very very important when you are working in an office also people get emotionally connected more than uh, workplace connectivity so when you talk about their emotional connect it works you told your brother was not keeping well is he okay now you are just told your son had an exam how did he do it makes a lot of difference that means you are genuinely interested in other people it brings people close together yes smile always talk with this man some of them ah come sit go eat drink sleep bhagwan also will come yamadharma will come come go we go no smile when you smile yamadharma will ask i have come you are smiling then you are too happy let me go when you are very sorrow i'll come yama also should go why because you are smiling that death also should come smiling day abdul kalam told if my last wish is there and if you reporters are asking i want to take the last breath addressing students and the same thing happened 
That's my carry. Remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and the most important sound in any language. Can you use his name to talk? You should also remember everybody by name. Actually, I should also remember all of you by name and I should talk to you and get interactive. It makes during the, uh, what you call it as question answer round. Be a good listener, encourage others to talk about themselves. A simple logic, God has given one mouth, two ears. He wants you to use twice your ears than how much you use your mouth. Be a good listener than a speaker. Talk in terms of the other person's interest. Never think what is there for you in there. No, that kind of a relationship will not work. I'll become friendly with him because it is going to help me to go and come to together in this car. No, that relationship will die immediately. You should always see, talk in terms of other person's interest. Can I genuinely be a company for them so that he does not have to drive all along alone? All along he need not go back in this traffic. Some days I shall drive, some days he shall drive. We will actually share each other's uh, stress. And that is what is talking in terms of other person's interest. As a marketing, you should talk from this person's interest. My is sale munafa zada No, that is not business, that is cheating. You want a bigger screen? Buy this. Mera margin come hai. But you are looking for a bigger screen. I will not wrongly convince you to buy this product. That is called as intelligence. That way it has to be worked. So make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. In a team, this is very, very important. You cannot make anybody not so important because you don't know kap kis ka zarurat Sometimes you think your biggest skill is your end tech. Your biggest skill is your end tech and as you are going in the boat, it started to rain. You started criticizing that uh, boat rider. Oh, what have you studied? He said, no sir, I'm school in school. Kya army hai school bhi nahi hai? At least kuch Rama and Mahabharat pada hai. Nahi sir, Rama and bhi nahi aata hai, Mahabharat bhi nahi aata hai. Kyo? A Muslim hai. Quran aata hai? Nahi sir, ho bhi nahi padte. Kaha sir, hame kaam nahi hai. काम नहीं मिलता है उसमें काम से फुर्सत भी नहीं मिलता है कहाँ इधर वो पढ़ेंगे वो पढ़ेंगे आपका जिंदगी वेस्ट है यार हाँ ओके रो रो द बोट देन ऑल ऑफ़ इस एरेंडी सो देवर से वो दिन द बोट ही जस्ट लुक्ड एट इट साथ क्या साथ हाँ आपको स्विमिंग आता है नहीं आता है आपका लाइफ वेस्ट है मैं चलता हूँ some of the skills, life skills is very important. You should know that. Or ah, you should also know to catch the boat which has a tire in it, at least which can help you to float and be alive. So sometimes all skill sets are important. Make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. If you wouldn't have criticized, condemned or complained, that person would have saved your life. That person saved one more person's life who was sitting next to you. Whose interpersonal skills killed your interpersonal skills killed you? Why? You did not follow the simple thing. On the other side, do you know what the other guy told? What is your name? He asked. And he told, My name is Raju. The way you row the boat, na, it is beautiful to watch. What do you feel while you are watching these uh, water and fishes? Do you enjoy? Answer. I feel that they are my God. One person talks like this, one person criticizes, what have you studied? Nothing. Ah, your life is waste. Do you know Ramayana? Nothing. Your life is waste. Do you know Mahabharat? Nothing. Your life is waste. Now this man can pick up one of them. Why he can't take both of them? Who will he pick? Will he pick that person who criticized, condemned and complained all through his days when he was coming and going and coming and going? Whenever this guy used to come to cross the boat, he used to think, Ah, kya hai, idiot. Pura din kharayam. Then while he was picking that, then he told Sabji, a suggestion. क्या? मुझे बचाओ. एक ही आदमी को बचा सकता. अगले जन्म में क्रिटिसाइज मत करो, कंप्लीट मत करो. हम खुद आके आपको बचाएंगे. धन्यवाद जी. And he left. So remember this. Make the other person feel important and do it. So sometimes I don't know how many of you know. It is a true story. There was this girl and it has become a movie also. The movie goes as something like this, it's a true story. This girl was empathetic towards everybody and she treated all her humans. She never missed wishing everybody, including the security guard. She was so empathized with the security guard, she knew everything about the security guard. Anytime he was not in a right mood, he used to find out. Sir, 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 
he asked, he used to ask because he was genuinely concerned. Every time while going, she used to say good night. Every time she came, she used to say happy morning. And this used to be a routine. One day, she did not come out. This man could not believe that why is this lady? Did she not come today? He locks and he goes. After two hours, when this woman is caught inside the freezer, it accidentally locks itself and a movie has been made in Tamil and Telugu and it has become a super hit. She is about to die in one hour because she will freeze to death. And this security man, his intuition says, it cannot be that this girl has gone without wishing. That he finds out while he was going, he sees one more person and he asks him. Because why? He is genuinely interested in her because she was genuinely interested in him. She asked, what happened to that Pinky Madam? Pinky Madam, office Bandidra, yes, she had come, but she did not log off. What are you talking? Then he runs and he opens and he rescues her. That is called as genuinely, really becoming interested in other person, so that they will also. So the only way to get the best of an argument is avoid it. Abhi argument kyo? Um, avoid it and let it. Show respect for other person's opinion. Never say you are wrong. If you are wrong, admit it quickly and empathetically. Some of them think my boss hoon, my galat kar sakta hoon, my baap hoon, my galat kar sakta hoon, my maa hoon, my galat kar sakta hoon. Nahin. Galat mat karo. It is no for you also. If you are wrong, admit it quickly. Otherwise, your subordinates will not. Sir, I did that mistake, sir. Great, yeah. How did you admit? So last time when you did that mistake, you did not hesitate to admit. You did not have told sorry to us. I like that attitude of yours, sir. I want to be like you, sir. That's the reason I am also <coughs> sorry. It was my, my fault, sir. I submitted the module late, so the entire project became late. The boss is asking, who is responsible for this? The project was supposed to be submitted yesterday. I know most of the modules were ready. Everybody says we will not say who's mistake. We will collectively accept it's everybody's mistake. But this man could have raises his hand and says, Dad, sorry, boss, it's my mistake. My son was there, he was admitted in IC. So I wanted to tell because that day when something wrong happened, you admitted it. I want to do the same. This will bring that leadership skills in life. If you are wrong, admit it quickly and empathetically. Begin in a friendlier way. My Sorry, my friend immediately apologized with his daughter telling, Oh my loving daughter, I am very sorry. Satya Meva Jayate does not mean only for you, it also means for me. He calls his boss and he says, Sir, uh, we will be coming in half an hour's time, sir. I am very sorry. And he changes that barking dog tone, ring tone to something else. Attitude change. Who changed the attitude? Ek choti si nanni si beti. It doesn't make her big, it doesn't make her small. Everybody is a teacher in life. Sometimes youngsters teach us more. Get the other person saying yes, yes, that I have told you. Let the other person do a great deal of talking. If you really want to know what is there in mind. Counseling is all about let the other person talk. Let him vent out all his frustration. The person has come to fight. Don't fight back. Allow him to vent out. Everything he says and then say, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Solution be will yeah. But if you don't allow the other person to do the great deal of talking, you will lose out on that person. Allow him to talk, let him finish it off, let him vent out his anger. And then you can always go. Let the other person feel it. the idea was this. Like just now I told you if I want the project to be completed in 30 days. Let the other person feel that the idea is his or her. Try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. Never start looking from this side and say, I am seeing it, I am seeing it, I am seeing it. <coughs> Go there and see. On the other side, there is a tail. You say, I am seeing this picture because that picture is visible this side. That side, some other picture is visible. Go to an higher pedestal. You can see the higher ups and see and get a clarity of the entire thing. So, try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. That is where a judge will never assume a murderer as a murderer. He will always look from this point of view also. And he will always give him a chance to tell on this side, what is his story? He will never allow his judgment to be passed without allowing the culprit to express his opinion of what he did was right or wrong and ultimately he gives the judgment. Be sympathetic with other person's ideas and desire because you don't know which idea is going to become a multi-million dollar business. People made fun when somebody told, I am going to sell water and I am going to make money. He is going to sell water, it says. And today it is reality. 
people are mineral water business is one of the highest paid business earlier people did not know that people did not know that one day people will buy water and that is going to be with this business a delivery agent is going to make such a huge margin people never thought today amazon and flipkart are doing it a social media platform which is used for entertainment today becomes the ruler of the world political scenarios are going to change because of that nobody ever anticipated a news channel would have an influence on the audience to an extent of so much percentage that was assumed but we never thought social media will penetrate deep inside our own deep inside our own zone and it will make us change things yes that is the influence of social media appeal to the noble motives because everybody has a god in him look at his noble motives look for something good in him he may be a liar but there are other good things in him can you appeal for the global dramatize your idea i told you for five dimensional presentation <coughs> with impact the audience that has to be there throw down a challenge that i have already told yes in a larger extent so please go through all this it is a beautiful one thank you if you have any questions i'll answer otherwise we'll wind up today's class